Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and this is a Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on sweet multi-line traces. So let's go ahead and look at the final product and see what we'll be making. Again, you never have to watch the videos. There should be a GitHub link down in the comments where you can immediately go to to grab the code and to move on. But let's go ahead and push play and see what we're gonna make. So we have this purple sphere right here and it's printing out to the top of the screen all of the actors that are within its radius. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. There we go, there we have it. Okay, so, and that's gonna be helpful because you know if you're making a grenade or if you have multiple characters, if they're all in the same place, maybe you wanna do something to all the actors that are within that given you know radius or sphere. So again, as always, or at least in my examples, we're gonna create a new actor class. Right click, new C++ class, choose actor, might as well call it my sweep trace. Click create class. All right, it's done creating the class files for us. We don't have to do anything in the in the header file, so let's go ahead and jump over to the CPP file. The first thing we want to do is we do want to include the draw debug helpers class. It's going to help us draw that sphere to the screen, so we kind of know what we we're looking at for a good visual representation. So include draw, de include draw debug helpers.h. All of our logic is going to go in the begin play function for this example. Again, it can go anywhere. It can go in the tick function or go in maybe when a player pushes a button. But for this example, let's go ahead and put it in the begin play function. The first thing we want to do is create a T array of out hits. How do we do that? T array f hit result. So it'll be a, an array of hit results. And we're going to call that out hits. Um, I also want to get the actor's location, and when we do that, we'll be able to determine where the sphere begins and ends, and we'll be able to use it throughout the rest of uh, the rest of our logic. Uh, f vector actor location equals get actor. Doesn't save us too much code, but hopefully, it becomes helpful. And the next thing we want to do is we want to create a collision sphere. So let's go ahead and create that. We'll do a collision shape, call it my call sphere. Have it equal F collision shape. Now let's go ahead and make a sphere. And we can make it a uh, 500 in radius, 500 round. And that should suffice. Next, let's go ahead and draw that to the screen so we have a good visual representation of what we're doing. First parameter, get world. A second parameter, let's go ahead and input the actor location variable that we made up above. Uh, next, uh, next parameter is going to be my call sphere. Dot get sphere radius. So we're gonna draw the the same size that our my call sphere is. So we're gonna put 50 quadrants. You know, we could have fun just making 100, so we have just more, I don't know, interlaces or more things going out throughout the sphere. Um, let's color it. Uh, I'm gonna choose purple, and we do not want it to go away after it's drawn. So we put true. Next, we want to see if something hits, if, if we're successful in hitting something. So bool is hit. That's my very my, that's my variable name. Uh, first step is get world. Every actor has that permission to use the get world function. Get world sweet multi by channel. Let's add those to the out hits variable that we created up above. We want it to start at the actor location. Actor location. And we also want it to end at the actor location. So this is beginning and end. In a real game, you might have different parameters for that. But for this example, we just kind of want it to start and end in the same place. It's not like a moving sphere or 
anything like that. Uh, F quad. Now we want to fill out the rest of the parameters. Let's go F quad identity. Ah, no, is it not is identity? Went a little too quick. The next one we want to do is ECC world static. And we want to finish it out with the collision sphere. Okay, so that should be great. And so if is hit is true, we want to do something with it. So if is hit. And this example will just be uh, printing to the screen. Since there might be multiple hits in our T array, what we want to do is loop through them. So we will want to do a for loop. Again, in the Unreal documentation, I believe this is the recommended way to do it, uh, but there's also multiple ways to loop through a T array. I think in my, in, in my blog post, I will have that link on where they highlight different T arrays and different ways to do it if you want more control and you know different things like that. So for everything that we hit, let's go ahead and print to screen. We'll do a quick check for G Engine. And if that's true, we'll do G Engine. Add on screen debug message. Let's fill out the parameters. Negative one. Let's have it visible for five seconds. Uh, let's color them green. And let's do our F stream print F. Let's call it hit result. Colon percent sign s. And what we want to do is that our so this so hit is each element in the out hits array. So for each hit, what do we want to do? We want to get the name hit dot actor get name. And I think that should suffice. We'll end it with a semicolon, compile it, and see if we got any errors. And yep, we already got errors. For goodness sake. Shouldn't be too much. After location, yeah, so I just have a typo on line 28. Line 28. Not too bad. Hopefully that's it. Fix that. Compile. Another error. Too many actual parameters, macro text, so that's line 36. Yeah, I think I kind of noticed that too. There's a little goofy stuff going on. Am I missing something? I think I have one too many per uh, one too many parentheses. Let me delete that. Go back, compile. Uh, what did I do? Oh, yeah. Got it's C plus plus. Yeah, so you gotta do the pointer. I didn't do the pointer. We want the pointer. We don't want any kind of any reference to it. We want the we want the result and we want to get the name of it. So save and let's compile. I make that mistake all the time. Uh no, there's still an error. For goodness sakes. Uh two initial parameters for macro text. Oh, what's going on? String print text, text. Oh, we don't close the parentheses on the text. That's why I was getting confused. All right, 
Hopefully that should do it. Alright, successful compile. Let's drag it in. Uh, it's going to be my sweep trace. Drag that in. I'm going to add a billboard component so I can kind of drag it around the game world. Got that. Got that. And uh, let's uh, see if it works. Cool. So we got a purple sphere. It's got 100 quadrants. It's about 500 uh, unreal units in diameter or in radius. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.